I'm the Reverend Joanna Fontaine Crawford. I serve Live Oak UU Church in Cedar Park, and my youngest daughter is a junior at Rouse High School. She told me about a book in her school library, and I am very concerned. One part of the book talks about incest, two young women getting their father drunk in order to have sex with him. Another tells about a woman gang raped to death, her body dismembered and the pieces of her corpse sent to different parts of the country. Another story comes back around to the incest theme telling of a man who conspires to rape his own sister. You don't just have one copy of this book in the Rouse Library, you have several. It is titled, The Holy Bible, and these stories are in Genesis 19, Judges 19, and 2 Samuel 13. As someone who holds a bachelor's degree in English and a master of divinity degree, I do not believe that you should remove this book, nor do I believe that you should remove the other books from our schools that some parents are demanding. The purpose of education is to teach critical thinking, whether it is the Bible or a modern novel. Our youth need to learn how to examine a book, looking at its context, searching for themes, symbolisms, motivations of characters, and determining their interpretation of the writer's purpose. I absolutely can understand parents wanting to shield their te teens from things that go against the parents' values, but we are failing them if we do that. Instead, we need to equip and empower them to think critically and to apply those values that they have been raised with, whether they are interpreting books, news stories, or religious texts. Lastly, I want to give a big thank you to all of the teachers who have taught my children good critical thinking skills. It often meant some spirited debates around the dining room table, and I did not always enjoy those. But I now have a son who is working on a PhD in economics, a daughter who is pre-med, and best of all, another daughter studying to become a high school teacher herself. Bless you all and thank you.